There is nothing worse than to see a kid in detention, sitting behind bars, wondering what his life is going to be like, and not having the real supports that he needs. Many of the youth referred to the ENGAGE program have uh, blown through probation once or twice. They are well known to law enforcement officers. Uh, they've been kicked out of school multiple times, maybe for behavioral issues like fighting or bringing drugs to school. Their parents come in, they're fed up, throw their hands in the air, I can't do this anymore. Parents don't believe in them, school members don't believe in them. And they take that in, they absorb that, and that becomes a part of their identity, unfortunately. That I'm not worthy, I can't be any different than I am. This is, you know, what my family's always been. This is the neighborhood I live in, et cetera, et cetera. Our job is to reframe that for them and say, nope, that's not true. You might have had some of those experiences, but that's not true. Let us show you where you really belong. I'm gonna say 15. I started growing like bald spots in the back of my head. I had like a lot of them. Like, like I thought I was losing my hair. I felt weird. They told me, it was like, that's not mom, but you kept smoking. It was getting to my head and it was getting me to like get, go crazy and everything. I can say I did have a good life, you know, but I wanted to experience like people in gangs and like stuff like that, you know? That's where, you know, I got big. It was like I got the biggest stuff, I got the deeper stuff. You know, I could you know, be dead the next day, or, you know, I could end up in jail for life just for, you know, having an adult charge on my case. It's not a place that anybody wanted to be. As soon as I got assigned my probation officer, you know, they told me, you know, I had to come to engage class. When I first started with the link, like, I thought it wasn't a good idea. I didn't want to be here because the point that, you know, I already had too much on my plate. You know, I had to go to therapy for anger. You know, I'd have to go to like, um, kind of like drug and alcohol classes again. You know, I just, I just had classes for everything that was wrong with me. I even had classes, you know, for my mental health issues, you know. It would be easy to look at someone like Isidro and assume that he's just a drug addict, just another drug addict. And on the surface, that's what you see. But behind all of that is a lot of complicated feelings, emotions, thoughts, and an inability to cope. Some of these kids aren't even kids. They've never had the ability to be a kid. They don't laugh anymore. Um, they don't even know what it's like to play a game. Inside, they're still kids with this very gruff exterior because they don't want you to know that. And that's why we stick with them, no matter what, through thick and thin, relapse, detention, <laughs> whatever it takes, we're sticking with them. My and Jackie are like, are probably the ones that I've really gotten closer here, you know, because they actually help me, you know. They're like really good people and they really care. Out of all programs that I was in, the link was better and it really helped me, you know, because like people at the link, you know, they actually got to talk to you, you know, they actually got to get inside, you know, what you feel, you know, but when they saw that I was down, you know, they, they knew when I was down, you know, they weren't that people that were just working just to get paid, like, these people actually do care about you, you know, like, they'll do anything just to keep you out of trouble and just to, to just to succeed in life. You know, even Matt, you know, calling me, you know, while I was locked up, or even when I wasn't locked up, he just called to see how I was doing, you know, like, they showed me that they cared, and they showed me that they are gonna stay by my side 100%. Somebody has to work with those kids that are being thrown away. Our purpose is to be that safety net, to be that agency where there's no wrong door. We don't say no to anybody. Our job is to work with them, but it's more than a job, it's our passion. <laughs>